welcome to the Wiltshire Caravans Handle the Video for the Bailey Pegasus Drive in Hampshire, which is the 2019 model. I'll uh, do my usual, starting at the uh, back end of the vehicle. So, so we've got the grab handles on the back, light clusters, so indicators, brake lights, running lights, and reversing lights. Space for your number plate. And see, that's where your corner steadies are at the back. So going to the off side, first thing we come to are the uh, toilet areas. So here, this is where you put your pink rinse. Oh, yeah, pink. So this is uh, depending on which one you use. Um, how much you need to dilute please check the bottles the instructions on the on the bottle that you buy um so just dilute that i use an old pot bottle just to dilute and uh fill up from there this this is the standard thetford toilet okay, so it's uh, nice and easy to use oh, so empty i should say not to use is it so easy to use right, so that just lifts up pulls out pulls straight and out it comes. You'll know when it's full up because there's a light on in the toilet that shows it uh, needs emptying. So to empty, do that forward, take this cap off, put it somewhere safe. You don't want it falling down the, the uh, particular receptacle that it's gonna, <laughs> all the fluids are gonna, gonna go into. So once you've done that, lift forward and then press this button. That releases any uh, gas or air, air locks in there. You'll want to rinse, so pull the slider back open this flap uh, there's all generally hose pipes uh, at the waste disposal areas uh, to rinse out and then just repeat the procedure to empty it you can see just to see in there there's a little float that's the bit that uh, tells you when it's full when that's at the top but when you're going to put it back together right, close that up slide that back up on this on the cap um, it's got some markings on it to show how much blue uh, liquid to put in so we'll do it to the manufacturer specification dilute as necessary and you're ready to go so that then goes straight back in there um, for winterizing what you'll need to do uh, because you put fluid in uh, the pink fluid in into a reservoir to empty it there's a little pipe there just Empty, open that uh, bung, take that bung out, out, and that will empty out for you. Apologies, this is a bit bright. We've actually got some, some nice bright sunshine today. Okay, so window into the bedroom area. Underneath here, we've got the uh, waste pipe outlets. That's where the uh, that goes into your waste master or direct down to a drain if you're on a fully serviced pitch. Okay, so you've got the wheels, alloy wheels. Uh, they are torqued up to 100, the nuts are torqued up to 130 Newton meters. And this one's got a uh, Truma motor mover. We do have a se separate video for motor movers, so, so I'll use that as well. See, then there's the uh, window into the kitchen. And then this is your gas locker. As usual, I've, I've unlocked all the, uh... ah, he says. set this one up for propane uh, in here you've also got the Chris registration number and details regarding the caravan and and the gas workings okay here that's the, the exhaust it runs on the Truma heating system uh, it's a blown air system for the heating and hot water hot water's not blown air of course but with this um, that's the exhaust point if you're using this on gas so next we get to the water. This is the uh, area for, the, uh, for your water pump to go in. So we'll just pop this up. We've got the uh, pump there. That just goes in there, clips into there. Oh. This part then goes into your aqua roll. Uh, the pump goes over it just to uh, prevent any dirt from going in. And that's where you've got fresh water into your caravan. how to release so you see there's a little trigger on there so you've got a trigger and that just comes out okay 
Right, next to that we've got a, lo a locker, an uh, outside locker, that see how it goes right the way through to the other side of the caravan. There's the water heater and some of the piping for the, uh, for the blown air heating. Right, so at the front we've got the uh, distinctive large front window for the Bailey. Three windows on this one, that's it, and you've got grab handles. Runs on the Alco chassis, it's got Alco ATC, so that's Alco trailer control. There's a little sensor underneath the chassis, so if the caravan does start to snake, uh, then the, the brakes come on just to, um, to stabilize the vehicle. You may notice it if you go over a speed hump, whereby uh, the caravan will feel a little bit heavy for a couple of seconds. That's just the ATC working. Okay, there we've got outside gas barbecue point. And um, back on the near side now. Um, I always remind, but please don't uh, use a gas barbecue inside an awning. Uh, it doesn't go well. But it doesn't go well. Again, access to the in, you know, the inside. Lots of space in there. Window into the um, into the lounge area. And here's all the information regarding your. Uh, this particular caravan, uh, maximum plated weight on here is 1600 kilograms. Uh, massive run and order, so with just a couple of gas bottles in the front, um, 1335. Tire pressure 60 psi or 4.2 bar, and the wheel bolt torque 130 newton meters. Okay, go a bit further along, then you've got the vents for the fridge and the freezer. This is the uh, Isolator for the motor mover. Again, a separate video for the motor mover isolator. There's your electric hookup. And next to that, we've also got a an outside 230 volt socket to run into the uh, to run into your awning. All right, last internal locker. This is the one under the bed. Lots of space in here. Uh, you've also got in here. Uh, this is the engager for the motor mover uh, winder to take the uh, to get to the spare wheel We've also got a uh, leg winder and another wheel brace although this will work as the wheel brace okay as you can see this one's already fitted with that uh, it comes with a, a lock um, which I think is just on the other side yeah it is on the other side the uh, receptor right that's everything outside Obviously, awning light, aerials up there. Uh, we'll take a look inside. Stable door, nice large bin. You turn inside, and it's just got a quick whistle stop, whistle, whistle stop, whistle stop tour. <clears throat> uh, nice sort of kind of G shaped lounge. This is uh, unusual, but very nice. Is very spacious in here. Lots of room. Going into the bedroom. Got a TV point in here. Sorry about the reflection. Nice bathroom. Nice size shower. It does feel really spacious. Cupboard space galore. And over here, the fridge and the microwave. But let's take you through the operation. When you step into the caravan, on your right hand side, this is the, uh, the control panel. Uh, this is the master on switch. So that's to turn power on. You can check what your battery voltage is. It's just showing it's 13.6. Well, don't surprise me because we are plugged into the electrics. So this is your internal lights, main switch, and that's your awning light, okay? The water pump, that's uh, if we had any water uh, connected. As soon as you've got that done, press that down and that's your water pump. Yeah, you have, you have to be able to bring water into the system. Okay, while I'm talking about the water, uh, it's important to empty, particularly at um, yeah, winterizing. There is a little yellow tap underneath the sofa. It's not very clear. But that yellow tap is your drain down tap. So that is for the... Uh, draining down your water tank and if you open your taps as well at the same time that will then make sure you've got no water in your caravan over winter time okay but this uh, the 
probably even more important, especially in the UK, is your heating as well as the hot water. So on the other side, on the kitchen side, there's the Truma uh, control. This is a, a rotary control, but to turn it on, press and hold, and it turns that on. Oh, press too much then. But so the first thing it comes up to is a flashing motorhome. Now this part is to say what temperature you want to set inside your caravan. So you then press again, and at the moment it says 20, but you can just using the dial, turn it up, up and down to whatever you want. So off or anywhere up to 30 degrees. I think we'll go to off because it's a lovely sunny day. Okay, very simple to use. Then the next one, so control the, the rotary arm or the rotary button, click it across once, it goes to flashes on the thermometer, that's your water temperature, currently off. You have options of eco or hot or boost. So I'll turn it back off because we haven't got any water connected. Um, the the hot water is hot, so if you put it on hot, be very, very, very aware that you may scold yourself unless you use the hot cold mixer on the mixer tabs. The next uh, option is the uh, what power you're using or what type of power uh, currently set on electric one. So the options are, I'm going to write the way to the start. So you can run gas, so that will run the heating and, and hot water on gas. Uh, mix one, so that'd be uh, gas and electric, and mix two, gas and lots of electric, if you really need to boost it. Then you've got electricity one, um, which in fairness will heat the caravan up and the water, but it takes a while in the UK. Uh, you have two lot, uh, EL2, that will give you plenty of electric to run everything quite nicely. Um, but while we're here, I'm just going to select elect one. Turn the dial again, and then you get to the fan. So it's either off or vent. Oh, so I know what that is. It's you know, because I haven't got any heating set. Bear with me. I'm just going to go back. This is the back button. So if I go back to the heating and set a temperature, then go to the fan. You've got eco and high. So that's how how the fan is going to work. Is it going to work very quickly or, or eco or on high? So that that the, the, you will hear that uh, it's trying to heat up now. You see this flashing flame. It's nothing to do with gas. That just means that the heating's coming on and starting to work. So I'm just going to turn that back to off because we don't need it. So then, then you've got timers. You've got to set the clock. And then you've got your settings. So with brightness, you can turn down the brightness of the screen because you can guarantee if that's on at night and you're laying in bed over there, that'll be quite bright. So I'll just dim that down. We do uh, give you a manual for this. So it, it, it is lovely and straightforward, um, but at any stage, we can just turn it off, just press the button, keep it pressed down, and it will turn off. Uh, any stage, you have any questions, you can give us a call on 01373 uh, We're only too willing to help, more than happy to help. Right, so that's the heating and the hot water. Very straightforward, very nice. Just take you around the van now and show you the bits and bobs. So you've got the uh, a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide alarm. Uh, on the door, you've got a blackout blind. Remember with these, because they, just, they are spring loaded, they will come up at quite a rate on the door. Uh, on the windows, we've got fly screens coming down or blackout blinds coming up. Okay. Uh, also got the same on the, uh, on the big, if I check that, uh, your, your bl blackout blind comes down a fair way. And then you've got fly screen and a blackout blind that comes all the way from the bottom. Okay. 
So yeah, all the windows are have the same setup in that respect of the blinds. You see here we have uh, the, the lounge area with the, the table there, which I quite like. Obviously that is a removable table. You can see where the, uh, that's a leg on a hinge. You can remove that, get it out of the way to make this into a, a very large double bed. Um, cupboard space of plenty in here. Uh, in the first cupboard, uh, some shelving there. Then you've got uh, your antenna, TV and, ra and radio antenna. So undo that, lift the shaft, point the direction to where everyone else is pointing and reset your TV every time you go away. Unless you go into the same place when you don't need to bother with that. You've got the booster there showing that it's, it's for the TV aerials and radio. This cabinet here, it's got a stereo in it. So uh, it looks like a CD player as well. Yeah, CD and uh, radio. Got USB um, accessibility and an auxiliary input as well so you've got the speakers there and there and again just lots of cupboard space little cubby holes these little lights these are all individual switches on them and as you can see there's little usb sockets in as well well one of that one has which i think is a, is a nice touch underneath the bench for the side you've got access to that long locker at the front access there you can see that's where the uh, it's got a lock in there down there you got a 230 volt socket this is your blown air areas so when that comes out there another another <laughs> access locker under there that green screen was uh holding the um uh, it kept the uh, electric cable, the hookup cable, from from falling apart. But while we're talking about any electrics, go to the bedroom area and, and underneath the wardrobe, or the wardrobe on the right hand side as I'm looking at it. There's your uh, uh, all your breaker switches and your fuses. All right, let's go to the kitchen area then. Kitchen area, obviously sink this one's got a bowl in it draining board mixer taps very large drawer at the front it's a nice bit of cupboard space there's your gas isolators so if you use propane you can just turn it off at the bottle however these are you know if you, if you want to turn them off individually uh, isolate them you can do so that's for the cooker uh, the hob oh barbecue point and for the fridge because that can run on gas as well it's a Thetford Caprice um, oven and grill oven grill and um, hob it's got this nice little worktop area which goes up there's a little button there to, take, to keep that up you've also got the glass top very important to keep the glass top up when anything's hot don't put it down uh, and do be aware that uh, you might be, if you turn the electric ring on, electric hob on, which is this one, um, and the glass is down, that will still heat up. Gas won't light, but that, that will still heat up. So, standard cooker, there's your spark, grill pan, grill, oven, doesn't look like it's ever been used. Underneath here, the little cubby hole, there's the isolator for that electric hob. So if you are worried that someone might knock it and uh, turn the hob on, you can just take that plug out. Opposite side, you've got a uh, microwave oven. Uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to use a microwave, a standard microwave. The plate's not have been used either, so uh, clearly never used there's your solar panel um charging unit you don't you won't have to, have to worry about that and here's the plug for the microwave oven underneath that you've got a point for your tv light switches 230 volt socket 12 volt socket and tv antenna point uh, looks like books and keys that's the controls for the motor mover okay the fridge dometic fridge 
Okay, so if I just turn that off to start with, so that's off. You've got running on electric, running on the alternator for the car, and running on gas. If you're going to run it on gas, you need to fire it up. But if you put it onto, uh, as long as the fridge is cold, and you've got the 13 pin socket on your tow bar, um, and it, you put it to there, that will maintain the temperature of the fridge. Temperature being set on this bit, but yeah, that will maintain the temperature. It will not cool it down from the start, but it will maintain the temperature. Okay. Yep, yeah, that there. Then the fridge itself. Yep, yeah, standard fridge, good size. And your freezer box for your ice for your Bacardi and Coke or whatever is your tipple of choice. Or just ice creams, etc. Right. Right, we're going off into the bedroom area now. So we've got another TV point, uh, light switch, another little cubby hole in here. We've got uh, wardrobe here. Cupboard underneath, that's the one that's got the fuse box in. And we've got cabinets above, lots of room. Yeah, just loads and loads of room. Double bed, this pulls out. And then the, that comes over. Also lifts up storage. Under there you've got your, this is your freestanding table. Uh, extra cushions for the front bed area. But yeah, lots of room underneath the table to store, I don't know, chairs, anything you need. But nothing too heavy, I hope. Again, a couple of lights, one USB um, socket on this light here. Put this on your, on your night lights or, night, or reading lights, whatever you want to call them. Going into the bathroom, here's the toilet. You may recognize it. Uh, this is where the light comes on, as I was saying, uh, when the um, cassette is full. There's your rinse. As you can hear that, that's the, uh, the rinse on there. So the seat itself swivels around if you need to. When you've done whatever you need to do, empty it out by pushing that across. But do remember to bring it back. Otherwise, it would be very difficult to get the cassette out. Well, you might well break the cassette uh, if it's left to open. Large cupboard. Hollywood style mirror. <laughs> that is quite good. Um, and we've got sink, another cabinet underneath. As I said, I briefly showed you the shower before, but there's the shower head, etc. Nice size, the screen, got a clip on there, so the screen will just come to you. Close it like that, but when you are travelling, please make sure that that gets clipped down. Light switch, copper tile rails, again the door for the, uh, there's a clip there. Privacy door there. Just move back so it closes that off completely. But again, when traveling, make sure that the clip is in place. So that is uh, pretty much it. We've got to uh, just show you the um, the way these work. So the, your sunroofs. Push the button in and bring back to you, and that will open fully. You can have them partially open, and then push back, make sure that clips back in. Please, please do not travel uh, with, with any of them open. Uh, other than that, I think we're probably just about done on this. Like I say, if you've got any questions, do give us a call 01373. 752-100 and uh, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, enjoy your day. Thank you.